It seems like summer vacation just started, but it's not too soon to start preparing for the new school year. That's especially if your child is going off to middle school. Joining us now from Learning Rx is Courtney Axline with some practical tips. Courtney, thanks for being here today. Yeah, thanks for having me. I know we were just talking about this. A lot of, you know, you get to August and even now and parents are like, where did summer go? You know, I feel like we haven't accomplished anything. And so now I think even just looking at, you know, that transition time, looking at, okay, where even if you're not emailing teachers right now or counselors, putting it in your calendar so that you can say, okay, here's where I need to draft my email. Here's where, you know, I need to send that out because being able to get in, in contact with the counselors, you know, do those school tours when the time comes and, you know, just being able to keep your child active this summer too, whether it's, you know, uh, acting camps, whether it's, you know, band camps that are happening in the summer, those things are just going to help that transition so that they get to know the teachers, they see their friends at school a little bit more, you know, so those are all things that can be very beneficial beneficial to your child as they hit that transition period. Yeah, make a to-do list helps with some of that unknown. Right, exactly. Even going out and getting a, a lock, you know, that anxiety that comes with, oh my gosh, I need to change for PE class or I need to get to, you know, my next class, you know, can I do that con locker combination in that, you know, specific amount of time? And just being able to, you know, make sure that you can ask them, you know, what are you most worried about so that you can get on top of those things before that school year comes and they feel like they're even more anxious. Than, than they feel like they should be. Right, and parents might remember this, but you guys show studies that bullying often peak in middle school, something to consider too. Yeah, exactly. You know, have those talks with your kids, you know, so that, you know, you know, be a good person. And what what avenues to take if you are being bullied, you know, those are things that, again, cause anxiety, cause that anxiousness with children. And so if you can get on top of that, it's just going to be so much better. And middle school, also time when kids start to find their interest and see what they're into, what activities too. Yeah, exactly. You know, again, having those conversations what do you want to do next year during the school year? Do you want to try band? Do you want to, you know, look at chorus or, you know, show choir, whatever is out there. So again, you can be prepared so that you can look into, um, do we need to get an instrument now so that you can, you know, become familiar with it? You know, what things do we need to do to just help ease uh, your, your anxiety and make sure that the next school year starts off with a bang? Yeah, it can't start too soon to start thinking about the new school year. Right, exactly. <laughs> All right, Courtney, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you. And stay with TV9. We'll be right back.